Harold, there you are, dear. How did your meeting go with the property developers? Not too well. I don't have much more time to raise the money. It looks like I'm going to lose the stables. I bet I can do something to help. Well, after our chat the other day, I began thinking about my late husband, Jack. I started to look through some old boxes of his things. I found something interesting. Jack used to work down in the mine on the island with Frank Foster, Tom Smith and Peter Adams. He always kept a journal of his work down there. He was always writing in that thing. Well, I came across some loose pages from it. Some pages I'd never seen before. I read them over. Something about gold. I found it a bit confusing, really. Jack never spoke about any of this. I thought perhaps you could have a read. Maybe there's something in them. Maybe something that could help save the stables. Wow. Cool. I'll see what I can come up with. Thank you. I know this is supposed to be a holiday for you, but you will try your best, won't you, dear? I can't bear to lose the stables. Don't worry. I'll get onto it right away. You may want to visit Frank Foster down at the mine. He was a friend of my Jack's. Okay. Bye, dear. Hello there, lass. Just a quick hello. I can't stop, you see. Got post to deliver. Cheerio! No, oh, my name's Arthur, by the way. Okay. Bye. Hello, hello, hello. Who do we have here, then? I'm Carol. I'm here for a holiday. I'm staying at Willowbrook Stables. Constable Ball, at your service, ma'am. Haven't we already met? Uh, let me see. Uh, no, I, I don't seem to recall. Aren't you the postman? Oh, yes, of course. You don't need to send a letter, do you? So, you have two jobs. That's right. The world needs its mail delivered and its mailboxes protected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Bye. Right you are. Carry on, then. What do you want? Another nosy Parker, eh? Come to steal me gold, have you? No. Oh, oh that's good. Now, uh, hey, um, what did you say your name was? It's Carol. Oh, good for you. Nice name, for what it's worth. I'm Frank. Oh, but I told you that already, though, didn't I? No. What? Oh. Oh, well, I can be a bit forgetful sometimes. What are you mining for? What? Oh, um, gold and, um, and other things. But uh, you best keep away from the mine. It's no place for a young person like yourself. It's too dangerous. Sure, but I need to ask you something. Oh, I? I'm staying with Agnes Southard. Never heard of her. She said I should say hello to you. Did she? Well, uh, I don't know who she is. Jack Sether's wife? Don't you remember Jack? Well, of course I remember Jack. How could I not remember Jack? Hey, I'm sorry. Hey, it's not your fault, lass. So, uh, what did Agnes have to say? She gave me some pages from Jack's journal. Did some sort of accident happen in the mine? I don't want to talk about it. If you want to know all about that, then read the damn paper. They couldn't get enough of it at the time. <laughs> Go to the library and read it for yourself. 
There's something else. In his diary, Jack mentioned something about gold. Do you know anything about it? Uh, no idea. I've been trying to forget about those days. Too many bad memories. And you'd do well to do the same. There's naught down here, or anywhere for that matter. So clear off now. This place is nothing but trouble. But Frank... Well, thanks a heap. Hello, you must be Carol. That's right. I'm Lady Allthorpe. I live here at the manor. Nice to meet you. I give riding lessons to all the children on the island and run the library here. You can come by any time. Thanks, Lady Allthorpe. Please, call me Jane. Okay, Jane. I was just wondering if you had any old newspapers about the mine accident that happened. I think it was a long time ago. Oh, yes. What a terrible thing. I still don't think the island ever got over it. I wasn't alive at the time, but I remember my mother talking about it. Here you go. This came out the day after it happened. Thanks. Hmm. I guess I'll have to solve this first clue. Maybe I can get some help from someone. Toby. Oh, hi. Could you help me with a riddle? Sorry, Carol. I have to help out at the mill. wondering if you could help me with something. Need a letter posted, do you? Not quite. Here. All right, let's have a look then. Uh, my trusty lamp lights the way, yet my hands are free to work all day. Uh, lamp at night. Uh, delight. Uh, what's this? Some sort of riddle? Yes, I think so. Written by a miner. Well... Miners wear a light on their head to keep their hands free to work. Now, if this was an official police investigation, I'd go to a place where a miner would leave his hat when he gets home from work. Thanks, Arthur. No problem. Cheerio!
Maybe this is it. There's a note inside. This must be the next clue. I'm black as soot, but cannot burn. In the roaring fire, I am used to turn. My friends at work are anvil and hammer. Find my place amongst the clamor. I don't get it. What does this mean? How's things? Well, just fine until that awful man came in. What awful man? That Bartholomew Fox, the property developer. He's the one that wants to buy Agnes's stables. He comes in here with all his fancy city talk, telling me how great it will be when the stables are torn down. He's not from the island, then. Definitely not. No one here would do anything like that. Don't worry. Agnes and I have a plan. Hey, could you help me with a riddle? Sorry, love, I haven't got my thinking cap on. Maybe another time. Julia, could you help me with a riddle? Sure, what is it? Hmm, I'm black as soot but cannot burn. In the roaring fire I'm used to turn. My friends at work are anvil and hammer. Find my place amongst the clamor. Any ideas? Well, I know Bruce has an anvil and hammer in his workshop in the village, and he certainly makes a lot of noise. It gives the animals a bit of a fright when he's hammering away. Thanks. I'll go see him. Bye then. Hi, Bruce. Good eye. What brings you here then? I was wondering what other tools you use with the anvil and hammer. Thinking of a career as a smithy aid sport? Well, there's a few things. Tongs, bellows, and a stack of different hammers. What about in the actual fire? Well, there's these beauties here. Got myself a new set of tongs. Um, you don't have any old ones, do you? Well, there's a pile of them over on that bench. Go have a gander. Thanks. Wow, these ones look ancient. They were here when I took over from old Clary. Oh, I never had the heart to throw them out. Awesome! There's another note! Huh? I've never noticed that before. Thanks, Bruce. You've been a good. No probs. See you later, kiddo. Mr. Johnson, could you help me with a riddle? Riddles, hey? Well, here's a riddle for you. 
what's round and red and is near my orchard. Um, an apple? No, wrong. Your backside after I pen it with this stick. Now clear off. Boy, he's even worse than Frank. Hi, Jane. Good day, Carol. Could you help me with a riddle? Sorry, dear. I have to give a riding lesson. Hello, Wilfred. Hello there, lass. Could you help me with a riddle, please? Certainly. You know, I used to run about solving riddles when I was young. Let's see, then. Left and right and left once more, ending up where you were before. Sounds like my driving, although there aren't that many roads here. In the center, you will find a leafy clue of a different kind. Could be a tree in a field. But there's so many. Wait a minute, I know. Left and right and left once more, ending up where you were before. That sounds like getting lost somewhere. Now, I've been on this island almost all my life, and the only place I still get lost is in the maze. So, I'm looking for a tree in a maze. That's my bet. Thanks, Wilfred. Not a problem. Give my regards to Cynthia if you see her. Bye now. must be the tree Wilfred was talking about. There's something here too. I lie at rest, but not alone, speaking with this head of stone. To hear my words, use your eyes. This will lead you to my prize. Hmm. This is 
just getting harder. I wish the saddle club was here to help. Hi there, love. Can you please help me with the riddle? Sorry, love. I've got to get the bar ready. I don't know where my Francis has got to either. Send him home if you see him. been keeping. I need your help with something. My help? Well, let's see then. Will you be wanting some advice about where the fish are biting, perhaps? Actually, I was hoping you could help me solve a riddle. Oh, a riddle, eh? Well, I'll surely give it my best. Fire away, then. Okay. I lie at rest, but not alone. Speaking with this heavy stone. Hear my words, use your eyes. This will lead you to my prize. Hmm, well, head of stone could be meaning some kind of statue. What's the rest? Hear my words, use your eyes. This will lead you to my prize. That sounds a bit fishy to me. <laughs> oh, sorry, lassie, but I really don't know. Maybe ask Garth. Okay. Hey, Garth. What do you make of this? I lie at rest, but not alone. Speaking with this head of stone. Hear my words. Use your eyes. This will lead you to my prize. Maybe it means you need to be reading something on a statue. Or maybe the lighthouse. That speaks to us when we're out to sea. Go ask old Avil. He might be able to help you. Thanks, guys. No worries. See you then. something with a head of stone. Hello there, young Carol. <laughs> you don't mean Harold, do you? <laughs> Not exactly. I think it's something to do with the lighthouse. A kind of riddle. Let's see. I lie at rest, but not alone. Speaking with this head of stone. To hear my words, use your eyes. This will lead you to my prize. Well, I think it sounds more like a statue. Why don't you have a look around the church? Ulrich might be able to help. Thanks, Hyacinth. See ya, Harold. Right, I'll do that. Any time, dear.
Hello there, child. You look a little troubled. Anything I can help with? I'm looking for something with a head of stone. Well, let's see. There are a number of headstones outside the church. No. <laughs> a head of stone, like someone I know at Pine Hollow. Hang on. What did you just say? Outside the church, there are a number of headstones. That's it. A headstone with Jack's name on it. Thanks, Auric. <laughs> Don't thank me. I think you solved whatever it was all by yourself. Cross will keep you dry. Look underneath to get you by. I wonder what it means. Jack Southard, what interest does a young girl have in dead miners? Hey, watch it. You scared me. Did I? How unfortunate. Do forgive me, won't you? How do you know he was a miner? I could ask you the same question. By the way, what are you doing poking around here? Um, just exploring some of the island's history. What are you doing here? My name's Tom Penman. Now I've been assigned to help Father Ulrich here at the church. By the way, where are you staying on the island? At Willowbrook Stables. Willowbrook Stables? I see. I've heard they might be torn down. Well, we've got a plan to put a stop to that. Oh. And what might this plan be? I can't say. But don't you think the island could be improved if the stables were taken down and something new was... No way. Hmm. Well, as a priest, it's my job to keep a close eye on everyone in the village. So I'm sure I'll see you around. Bye then. Hi, Carol. Toby, hi. I just met Todd Penman. He's totally weird. Oh, you mean the priest guy. He was over at our mill yesterday looking around and asking Mum and Dad all sorts of things about the island. Yeah, he was asking me stuff today as well. I think we should keep our eye out for him. Anyway, I have to be off. See ya. Bye. I better write to the rest of the Saddle Club and tell them what's going on. I bet they miss me heaps. 